In this video, we're going to be animating a simple walk cycle with our figure here. Uh, just a note, I've reduced the size of the figure a lot. When I built him, he was about 10 times bigger than he is here. I just scaled him down proportionately. That allows me to uh, see the whole figure through the camera view here. I just hit the zero key to switch the camera. So that's the only difference between uh, where I left off in a previous video and where I am now. I scaled the figure down. So let's get going with the animation here. Hit 5 to drop out of perspective mode. Let's go uh, full screen. And I'll hit the Z key. And we want to target the upper arm armature first. We're going to move uh, both the arms down and we're going to twist the hands. So we go into pose mode. And we rotate. Select this, hit R to rotate, and bring that arm down as well. All right. Hit the end key to open up the properties. Select the bone in the hand here. Zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. And I'm just going to rotate that by negative one. Actually, let's undo that, and I'll give you a top view of what's going on. So I want to rotate it uh, clockwise. So we'll just rotate it this way. It's uh, not as fast, but it gives you a better idea of what's going on. Top view, R to rotate, bring it around. Back to front view, and I'll just uh, zoom out and show you what. So the, the thumbs are facing forward, which is a more natural way for the thumbs to, to point when walking. Okay, so that's the arm set up. The legs don't need anything. But I'm going to start with animating the legs. Let's hit the Z key. Uh, get out of the pose mode, go into object mode here. We need to uh, select the camera. Uh, so we need to go into, uh, so I hit uh, shift uh, space and that brought up all the other menu boxes. And this is the timeline, this is what I'm concerned with here. Let me make sure the timeline is is set up and ready to go. So make sure you're starting on frame one right here. So that's the green line indicates where we are. Let's zoom in on that a little bit so you can see what's going on. This walk cycle is going to be 20 frames long, so it's only going to be that long. I want to turn on auto key so this will just automatically make keyframes whenever I make a change to something on the stage. It's a lot easier than manually submitting those. And uh, the type of keys that I'm interested in is location and rotation. I uh, don't need to worry about scale at all. So that's any any changes on the stage, it will, will mark those as a keyframe. So let's go back here, go to the select this leg, select the bones here, go into pose then side, rotate that leg up, so that's going to be the front step, the back leg, that's going to be the back step there. So like I said, this is going to be 20 frames long, so I kind of want to make sure that after the 20 frames it loops back the, the pose is exactly the same. So what I can do is select all the bones, open up side panel here, getting kind of crowded, and keyframe. So we're going to copy the pose, move to frame 20 here and paste the pose. So now when it gets to 20, loops back to 1, I know the pose for the legs is, will be exactly the same. Now we need to make uh, an in-between right at 10 here. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, and let's just go full screen. That'll give us lots of work in space. So we just basically need to reverse the legs. So rotate that one down, rotate this one up. You don't need to be exact because we're going to tweak it a bit more when we get the knees bending, but um, I'll bring open the timeline again here and you can see how the legs are animating now, which is great. It's pretty robotic right now, but it shows you how easy it is. And uh, I'll go to frame 20 here, and I'll press the E key. That'll set the end point of the animation, so it'll only. So when I press play, it'll just cycle between 0 and 20 here. And you can see the uh, the animation working away. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is bend the knees. So we're going to start frame 20, and focus on this back leg, and as it comes forward, I want it to. I want his knee to bend. So select the bone, go to frame let's say 5, rotate that. And as it uh, gets to the end of the stroke here, I want it to, to kind of bend back out so he's, he's kicking his leg forward. And 
set that back here. So, see how he just kind of kicks his leg like that. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to do the same thing with his leg here. Go to frame 5, bend it, he kicks it. Let's just extend that a little bit, like the weight of the boot is overextending the knee. Yeah, that's good. And go back here. We need to straighten this leg out now because that wasn't set before. Good. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now, <coughs> uh, the body, sorry for coughing like that, the body needs to move up and down with the animation as his, uh, as his legs hit the ground at different positions. So I'm going to get out of the pose mode, and we can do this with just the object as a whole. And I'm going to find the spot where the legs are the farthest off the ground, right there, and grab that and move it down. There. Grab that and move it up. So as he takes a step, and now we need to move it up a bit. So I'm just grabbing it and pressing Z. Move it forward. Grab, move it up. So how's that? And then we'll find the next spot on the animation cycle here, right there. Grab it, Z, it, move it down. So, down, grab, move it up, move it a bit forward, the timeline here. Right, see how that looks. Hmm, it's got a bit of a hiccup there. Hmm, that's what's going on. He's uh, lower here and then he's higher here. So let's move him a little higher. See that flows a little better. Yeah, that hiccup is gone now. Okay. So let me show you what that looks like here. So his arms aren't doing anything, but his legs look pretty nice. So let's focus on the arms next. Let's stop the animation. Go back to the side view. Drop out of perspective and select the arm, go to the front. So this leg's forward here, so that means this arm needs to be forward. This leg's back, so this arm needs to be back. So drop into, uh, well, first things forward, let's start at zero. And uh, side view. Bring out our tool panel here and then just. Uh, Insert a keyframe right there. Uh, actually, we didn't need to do that. We need to pose it first. So let's, um, sorry, go into pose mode here. Select this arm, side view, rotate it backwards. Select this arm, rotate it, rotate it. Something like that. Then we'll copy this and paste it here. So it's the same thing. I know those those two endpoints will, will will merge nicely when they loop. So we'll go to the middle and we just want to reverse the arms here. Let's bring that arm here. Bring that arm here. So how's that look? 
Oops, this arm needs to be straight. This, uh, the one arm here is not animating backwards, so I'm just going to have to set that keyframe again. So I want to select it, move to the end frame, rotate it, and rotate it back here. I want to make sure it lines up with the first frame. Lines up well enough anyways. Okay, see how that looks. Hmm, see it's got a little skip right here. That's because uh, for some reason the, the animations didn't line up at the end there. So let's do this instead. Let's stop the animation. Go to the side view here. So which one isn't lining up? It's this back arm, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to uh, copy the pose, go here, paste the pose. Let's see if that helps. Nope, it's even worse. All right, one more time. Oh, I don't think the elbow's bending properly. So inside. Yeah, that's the problem. His arm isn't rotating. Oh, that's better. So animation is just a process of tweaks and uh, adjustments as you go along. So it's a pretty funny walk, but he's a funny looking guy. Nice big heavy boots, nice big kick there. So he's ready to uh, render out so we can use him in our game. Let's uh, work on that in the next video. Thanks for watching.